look at Luke chapter 2 verse 14. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace. Good will toward men. Look at verse 13. Pay attention. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host. Praising God and saying. You can never say you are praising if you are not saying. Praising God and saying. So, anywhere you find praise, there must be a saying to it. If you observe also, when the hosts of heaven were praising, nobody was playing instrument for them. There was no instrumentation, no guitar, no keyboard. They were just praising God and saying, they were commending what God has done. You will find Jesus himself had instances where he praised the Father. Luke chapter 10 verse 21. Jesus praising the Father. In that hour, Jesus rejoiced a Galileo. Jesus a Galileo in the spirit. He rejoiced in the spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father Lord of heaven and earth. That thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and has revealed them unto babes, even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. This is Jesus praising the Father, and he used words. In the epistles, which is our family album, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18. And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess. But be being filled with the Spirit. Next verse. Speaking. Be being filled with the Spirit. Speaking to yourselves. In Psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Look at Colossians 3.16. He says the same thing to the church at Colossae. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Look at verse 15 of that Colossians 3. Let the peace of God rule in your heart, to the which also you are called in one body, and be ye thankful now, if you observe the thankful now, continue with the next verse 16. Be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another. So, psalms and hymns and spiritual songs are part of a teaching service. Teaching and admonishing one another. So our psalms and our hymns and our spiritual songs are supposed to be teachings. Teachings. They are supposed to be teachings, revelatory. They are supposed to be instructive in alliance with our true identity in Christ Jesus. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in the attitude of thanksgiving. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in the attitude of thanksgiving. Revelation chapter 5 verse 9. Pay attention. And they sung a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou was slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood. Out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation singing a new song here is not tongues it's not singing in tongues singing a new song is a song of the new covenant when you sing a song of the new covenant it is a new song a song of the new covenant this is what is called a new song the song of the new creation what God has done in Christ is what is called a new song. What God has done in Christ. Every time you sing what God has done in Christ, you are singing a new song. New creation, new spirit, new song. 
in revelation chapter 15 verse 3 and they sing the song of moses the servant of god and the song of the lamb saying great and marvelous are thy works lord god almighty just and true are thy ways thou king of sins these are songs that glorify god these are not songs that uh me i know go suffer i know go beg for bread me I, that is stomach infrastructure song all the things we have read here is all thanking and praising god for what he has done in the death burial resurrection of christ and the things that that has brought to us redemption salvation justification nothing material are you following even in the old testament there are songs there are songs of redemption the people sang songs of redemption songs that celebrated what god was going to do in christ observe so praise involves extolling the virtues of god it comes from what you have seen who god is what god has done praise comes from describing god in commendable terms in commendable terms it carries emotions praise it carries emotions you can't praise without talking because it's in the talking you find the praise <laughs> the praise will be found in the talking 